Module 3, Lesson 17. Represent and solve division problems requiring decomposing a remainder in the tens. We'll be using not only long division, but also place value charts. Here we have 7 tens divided by 2. So first we model 7 tens. Next, after modeling 7 tens, we're dividing by 2. So there needs to be two groups here. And of course, we start in the largest place, which is the tens place, because we only have tens here. And then we're dividing by two. So we have two, four, six, whoops. We are left over with one ten. But that one ten, we can go ahead and regroup. And then so we regroup it into the ones place. How many tens would that be? One ten, of course. How many ones would it be? It would be ten ones. And at that point, we did not regroup it with any other ones because there was no ones that we were dividing here, but we're dividing ten ones then at that point by two. So that's two, four, six, let me cross them out, eight, and ten. And there is no remainder there. So our answer to that is 3 tens, 5 ones. 3 tens, 5 ones, which also equals what? 35. So that's 70, which was 7 tens, divided by 2, should equal 35. Let's see the long division. We start with the tens place, 2 goes into those 7 tens 3 whole times, because 3 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1 ten, and we bring down the 0. Bringing down the 0, I now have 10 ones, which I'm dividing by 2. The 10 ones I'm dividing by 2 is 5, or 5 ones, because 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 minus 10 is 0. So our quotient is 35. Let's look at another problem. Here we have 5 tens, 7 ones divided by 4. That also is the number of what? 57. And what are we dividing by? Right, 4. Let's work through this. First, we model the tens. And then in this case, we have some ones to model as well. So we'll go ahead and model those ones. Four, five, six, and seven. We're dividing by four. We know that there's gonna be a regroup, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of space for our regroup. And we need four groups. So I made four groups there. We'll start in the largest place, which is the tens place in this case, and we're taking those five tens, and we're putting them into those four groups. Whoops, we have one more ten. That ten is what we regroup, and in this case I'm going to draw it below those seven ones. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then in this case, now I can divide these 17 ones by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, it looks like I can... I have four more still. That's 16. And then there's my 1. That was the remainder. So this one right here, don't forget it, it's a remainder. So it's one ten four ones with a remainder of one one. So in this case that's one ten and four ones is fourteen with a remainder of one. Let's see if the long division works out the same way. 
we add 57, we're dividing by 4. 4 goes into those 5 tens, 1 whole time. 1 times 4 is 4, 5 minus 4 is 1. Regrouping it to the 1's place, that's why we have 17, and 17 ones divided by 4 is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, and 17 minus 16 is 1. So it is 14 with the remainder of 1. Do you remember how we checked that? We would take this answer, 14, which was that quotient, multiply by the divisor, and then add back in the remainder. 4 times 4 is 16, 6 we root by 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And then we, like I said, add back in that remainder. Yep, 57. It does check. So this, remember the big step here is this is the change where we're regrouping. Okay, it's your turn to try. Don't forget to do your long division as well to be able to make sure that your work is correct. What are we dividing here? Right, 42, and we're dividing it by 3. And then we're also using a place value chart where it is that you're going to have to have a regroup as well. Pause that video while you do your work. All right, we have four tens there along with two ones. We're dividing by three, so we have three groups. And then we'll start with the tens. Looks like it's going to be one ten for sure. And then we regroup that other ten that we are working with into the ones place so that we have ten ones equaling that one ten that was there. Putting it together with the two ones, we have 12 ones. We know that 12 ones divided by 3 does give us 4 ones. That's why I'm going to go ahead and just write 4 ones right within each of those. Double check. Let's see, that's 3, 6, 9, 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. No remainder here. So we have 1, 10 and 4 ones. Let's, did you do your long division? Did you run a check? Well, let's see. We're dividing by 3. We have 4 tenths divided by 3 gives us 1, because 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1, and we bring down the 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4, because 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 minus 12 is 0. In this case, when the we have 0 here, we do not write anything here. We just say it's 14. And so it matches what we had over here. Let's go ahead and work with this one last problem, 76 divided by 3. Let's draw a place value chart. We have 10s and we also have 1s. What are we dividing? Well, 76. So what does that mean for our place value chart? How many 10s is that? Right, 7. How many 1s is that? Right, 6. So that's the first thing that we'll do. We've modeled the 76. We're dividing by 3. So that is how many groups? Right, 3. We'll leave us ourselves some space because we will need to do a regroup in this case. When we divide those 7 tens by 3, that's 3. Oh, there's two tens within each of those groups. So 76 divided by 3, two tens to begin with. What do we do with the one ten? Right, we regroup it over to the ones place. And it is how many? Should be ten. So that was already six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Putting it together with those six ones, now I have 16 ones, and I'm dividing that by three. What is 16 ones divided by 3? Right, 5. We have to have the same amount within each group. 5, 10, and 15. Leaving us with how many ones? Did you say 1? One? 1's our remainder. Let's look at that long division. 76 
divided by 3. 3 goes into 7 two whole times, because 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. We bring down the 6. Those 16 ones divided by 3, just like we were saying before, is 5, because 5 times 3 is 15, and 16 minus 15 is 1. Is that remainder? Reading it from our place value chart, yes, each of those groups has 5 ones. And there is 1 as our remainder. 2 tens, 5 ones, with the remainder of 1. Whoops, I almost did the most common mistake, or one of the more common mistakes with long division, where we forget to write the remainder there. Read this whole equation. 76 divided by 3 equals 25 with the remainder of 1. If we read it backwards, that's how it is that we check. Well, read it backwards, that reading the remainder, that is. Oh, 25. Oh, 25 with the 3. What do we do? We take 25 and we multiply by 3 because that's the inverse operation. 3 times 5 is 15. That's 5, 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and it's 75. Why doesn't 76 and 75 match? Well, it's because we didn't do anything with the remainder. What were we supposed to do with the remainder? Hope you said add. And in this case, it does match.